Hey guys, this is Ray from the Great Pulse Public Library and this is Storytime. It's a program for preschoolers two and a half to five. Let's start off with a favorite, the bubblegum song. This comes from the Ooey Gooey Lady. You can check out her channel here on YouTube. So get your gumball, pop it in your mouth, chew it up. All right, let's get it out and stretch it. Stretch it. Oh, that's sticky. It's a good thing it's pretend. All right, here we go. Icky, sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Oh, icky, sticky, 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 bubble gum. Makes my hands stick to my elbows. So I pun, and I pun, and I pun away. Good job. All right, let's do it again. Let's stretch it. Icky, sticky, 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 bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum, oh, icky, sticky, 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 bubble gum. Makes my hands stick to my ears. So I pollen, and I pollen, and I pollen away. Good job, guys. All right, one more. Here we go. Icky, sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum, oh, icky, sticky, 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 bubble gum. Makes my hands stick to my knees. So I pollen, and I pollen, and I pollen away. Good job, guys. All right, what parts of your body do you want your hands to stick to? Okay, so, but don't try that with real bubble gum. That would be an awful mess. All right, let's go, let's go to the moon. Show me your rocket ship. Here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. All right, get ready to blast off. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Woo! All right, let's go to the sun. Here we go. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. All right, let's get ready to launch. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Woo! All right. Let's go to the stars. Here's your rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! Good job, guys. All right. Now we are going to we are going to make a band out of our fingers. All of these different musical instruments. We're going to read a wonderful musical story today. So we're going to start with we're gonna start with you hear the band? They're coming closer and closer. Here we go. The finger band is coming to town, coming to town, coming to town. The finger band is coming to town so early in the morning. All right, get your drumsticks. We're gonna bang on our drum. This is the way they play the drums, play the drums, play the drums. This is the way they play the drums so early in the morning. Good job. All right, we're gonna play a guitar. So. Now here I'm pressing on the strings with my fingers on this hand and I'm strumming them over here. Here we go. This is the way they strum their guitars, strum their guitars, strum their guitars. This is the way they strum their guitars so early in the morning. Good job. All right, let's play the piano. Press all of those keys. This is the way they play the piano, play the piano, play the piano. This is the way they play the piano so early in the morning. My apologies to the actual musicians out there. All right, let's hold our flute. I'm gonna blow into our flute. This is the way they play the flute, play the flute, 
play the flute. This is the way they play the flute so early in the morning. All right, grab your violin. You're going to hold it with your neck. And there's your fingers pressing on those strings. And here's your bow. This is the way they play violin, play violin, play violin. This is the way they play violin so early in the morning. All right, guys. The finger band is going away. They're going to start out loud and then get softer and softer and softer. The finger band is going away, going away, going away. The finger band is going away so early in the morning. Good job, guys. Let's read this story. It's called Because by Mo Willems and illustrated by Amber Wren, except it says Score by Mo Willems and Performance by Amber Wren. So the score is the person who writes the music and the performance is the person who plays the instrument. This book is called Because, do you see the little girl on the cover? It's a story about why this little girl got wanted to be a musician and how she wanted to write music and how she eventually became the conductor of an orchestra. So she's the person who tells the whole orchestra what to do. Pretty cool, huh? Because is a great word. Because tells us why something happened. So maybe I would say, I'm all wet because I fell in the lake. Or I'm all wet because it's raining. So think about how you can use that wonderful word because that tells us why things happen. Here we go. Because a man named Ludwig wrote beautiful music, a man named Franz was inspired to create his own. Because many years later, people wanted to hear Franz's beautiful music, they formed an orchestra. Because a man had practiced since he was a kid, he was asked to join. Because a woman studied day and night, she too was asked to play. Because many others loved and practiced their instruments, there were enough musicians. Hey, what, what instrument is she playing? There's some drums. How about this? Do you know what that is? It's like a great big violin. It's a cello. And look, a flute. Because someone created a poster about Franz's music, tickets were sold. Because the train conductor stopped the train at the Grand Concert Hall, the orchestra conductor arrived. So do you remember a couple of weeks ago when we talked about words that have more than one, we more than one meaning? So we have a train conductor who drives a train, but we have an orchestra conductor who directs the orchestra. One word, two different meanings. Because the orchestra librarian had copies of the score, the orchestra rehearsed. Because workers checked the lights and the seats and swept the floors, the grand hall was ready. Because the time had come, the ushers opened the doors. Because someone's uncle caught a cold, someone's aunt had an extra ticket for someone special. Because the ushers helped the aunt and her special guest, they found their seats. Because everyone was there to hear beautiful music, it was quiet. And there's the orchestra. That's a lot of people with their instruments. And that's the music. What does the music sound like? Is it quiet or is it loud? Is it happy or is it sad? Have you ever seen a picture of music before? 
you can create your very own picture of music. So maybe you could do that later. You could listen to some music and draw a picture of it. In row C, seat 14, sat the girl with the uncle's ticket. She heard the beautiful music written by the man named Franz, and it changed her. Do you see the music? The girl was changed. There's the music, and there's the little girl, and her feet aren't on the ground because the music is making her fly. From that moment on, the girl learned everything she could about music because it fed her. Soon she started to write music too because like Franz, the young woman had something to share. Over time, the woman became very good because she worked very hard. Look, she's the conductor now. One night, her music was discovered because she was also very lucky. Then she was invited to perform her music at the Grand Concert Hall because so many people wanted to hear it. Her composition was dedicated to the uncle in row C, seat 14, because it was his ticket that brought her there. World premiere, symphony number one, the cold. And that night, someone else was changed. And that's how it happened. That's the end. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.